Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the worlds of Hermitin Crafting. And we're here at Scar's Frontier Outpost, getting ready to work on our bridge build, where we're going to build the arch and get all those decorative details built. But before we do that, we are going to go on a little shopping spree in the market district. We need to buy a couple things and also take a look at where our shop is going to be built. All right, and welcome to the market district. And our first shop on our to-do list is the lumber shop. So let's head right in here and we need to buy some jungle. So look for the jungle, my friends. Where's the jungle? Let's see, okay, that's dark oak. This is birch. This is jungle. There we go, looking good. So it is one diamond for a stack of 64. Awesome. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to put five in there and then we're going to take five of these. Make sure we're not taking extra. One, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful, wonderful, awesome. These guys must be making a killing off of all this wood in here. But I don't have any jungle saplings, so this is gonna make uh, that quite a bit easier. All right, next uh, shop on our to-do list is Mumbo's. We need to buy some food. That's right, we need to buy some food from this amazing chicken stall here. All right, so what is this? Oh, it's 10 iron. Now, that's iron ingots, correct? Let's see if anybody else put a, a shipment in here. No, nope, apparently not. Um, I assume it's ingots, not blocks, um, but I don't know for sure. Um, hmm, 10 iron for one stack of chicken. I think it's 10 ingots, but uh, you know what? We'll, we'll see. We can always come back and put extra in there. All right, and our last stop here in our shopping spree is of course the mending books. I need to make sure the price hasn't changed. This is the most generous price of anything in the in this area. All right, so we just need to grab six of these guys. Make sure we didn't take extra. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I actually got shorted. There we go, there we go. So there we go, we've got uh, six new mending books to go around. Um, look at that, that'll be great for our shop. All right, my friends. Yeah, so we're not gonna be able to buy up all of those because you can, you know, trade with a villager. I was just joking in the last episode about buying them all up and hiding them. That was just a joke. All right, my friends, let's go take a look at where our brand new shop is going to be. So as you can see over here, I think would be a great spot. This area is kind of underutilized. So I think this will be a really fun spot to build next to Cub and Impulses and Tango's um, super mob collection farm over there. So this is where my big forge is gonna go. I think it's gonna be really cool. And yeah, forges, is it gonna be useful or not? I don't know, but it's gonna be an amazing design. I think you guys will be really inspired by the build. But there we go, my friends. We got some new supplies to go around. And yeah, so let's head back to our project for today. All right, and welcome back to the bridge project. And as you can see, we have the base structure complete. And now in this episode, we're gonna add all of the details and get it all established. So let's jump right into it. And let's jump down here and work on our arch. So the arch is going to start around here-ish on that side and reach all the way to the center. And then of course on this side, it's gonna do the same. And let's dive right into getting that set up. So this block right here is gonna go there. Now that is exactly, so say you just stick a little dirt block there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's on that seventh block down there, very cool. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work this up here get this all built up here. Now I found a bridge that looks similar to this design. Now in the Southwest, there are a lot of arch bridges that goes over canyons. And then this is one, two, three, four. We need one more set. There we go. And this will be our fifth set. And that leads us right into there. We'll do a span of three and that'll meet in the middle looking very, very cool. So there's actually a lot of arch bridges that go across canyons. And one particular one looked somewhat similar to this one, which was kind of cool. It's the new bridge that goes over the, let me get this down there. There we go. So we just want that to be relatively the same. Make sure we're lined up properly. Perfect. So we want to be right under that last half slab across there. There we go. And let's see, can we do some magic here? There we go. Looking good. Um, so it's the bridge that goes over the Hoover Dam. So it's kind of similar to this one. So I thought that was kind of cool. There we go. And then let's jump up here like that. Beautiful. And then work our way across here. Now it's starting to get nighttime, my friends. And you know who comes out at the nighttime, don't you? That's right. Ooh, you don't know? Well, that's Bub, the creeper building inspector himself. That's right. Comes out at night and inspects buildings, destroys buildings, all those horrible things. So this one is, I think this is seven blocks. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. And then we just need to move it over one block. There we go. And then click right there. And let's see, is that the right spot? No, 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 that needs to be moved over one block. 
there we go now we're all set and then we can jump up to here and start working on this side so yeah like i said this just starts one block after the second pillar and then we can start getting these up here and getting them all set up and i feel like once we get this all down it'll start looking really really cool and it's so dark i'm freaking out right now hopefully ren dog he's on and hopefully he can sleep i'm i'm really counting on it ren dog you're my man right now we're counting on you Hashtag Rendog, save the day. Save the day, my friend. <laughs> All right, jump over here. Oh gosh, we almost died. Um, but yeah, look at that. Starting to look pretty cool. Now let's get this last side down over here. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, we have both columns built and I've added some sewn stairs to kind of give it a little more style as it emerges upwards. And I think that looks definitely pretty cool. Now let's jump over here and do the same. So we'll click those pieces on here. And I think this will give it a really cool feel and it'll give it a nice arch feel, and I think it'll really bring the whole bridge together uh, because it was definitely lacking on the bottom section of it. It just looked kind of bland and really needed something to pizzazz it up a little bit, if you will. There we go, looking good. And then we'll sneak on over here and apply these blocks going like this. There we go. And that kind of comes down to the kind of the main thing we always try to do in the builds is always plus them up a little bit. You know, sometimes, you know, you get the basic structure. Oh, hello, I just fell into some water. I was like, when am I going to break my leg? Apparently not because we're in water. Um, but like I was saying, it's always good to step back a little bit from a build if you're working on it and you're unsure about it. Um, definitely even spend like a day away from it and really kind of think about it. Say like, you know, you built something and you're relatively pleased with it, but you feel like it can be plus. It's really good to just completely step away from it and get a perspective, um, a different perspective from it. And it's important to do that once in a while, especially when you're trying to do something like on a server, you know, you want it to look nice and you think, ah, it just doesn't look good enough to have this just span kind of stretching across. It needs more to it to make it special. All right, all right, so where we're working now is right about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place another block right about here, and then I'm gonna bring this one, two, three, beautiful. And then I'm gonna connect another block on top like that, and I'm gonna sneak on the other side and place another one down. There we go. So now what we need to do is connect this somehow to our bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another block right there. There we go. And then I'm going to sneak back over here, connect that like that. Okay. So I think that's starting to look good, but it needs something else. Let's see. What do we do? Something like that. Oh, hello. I like that. But um, I'm also thinking we could push that column up one more block upwards. Um, I think that might look pretty cool. So let's swap over here. And then we'll add that block right there. Nice. And then we're going to sneak over here and do the same. Oh, hello. You're a scar mistake. Awesome. All right. So give me one second. Let me do the other side real quick. All right. And welcome back. And as you can see, our beautiful arch is arranged and ready to go. I also added a little extra acacia on the back side there. Remember where we went up like that? And then I added a little extra there. I still want to increase the height of that pillar right there. And I think that'll look pretty cool. And I'm feeling pretty good about our choice to go with our choice A. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed that also, because I do think this will all kind of flow together. Um, so, yeah. And let me know. Give me your feedback if this was the right choice to go with, um, because I, I do think we've uh, got something pretty good for at least for now. All right, my friends, let's get right into it. So we need to build the decorative arch that goes on either side of the bridge. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and we're going to bring these guys up to Let's just say we're going to bring them up to about three. So we're going to bring those up to about three. And then I'm going to place a temporary bit of scaffolding there. And then I'm going to sneak this all the way across here like that. And then go on one on either side. There we go. Looking good. So one on either side. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go upwards. Hmm. How do I want to do this? So if that block's there, I would go like this. Oh, that's how I do it. I was trying to remember. There we go. Nice. Nice. There we go. Awesome. So now this block goes on the same kind of a plane and dimensions as the other side like that. And then what we do is we can just go like this. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. And then I'll just switch over here, replace that, sneak on over here. And there we go. Looking super fancy. And I'll work this piece all the way out to there. And have you guys heard that Minecon is going to be in California this year? This might be the first Minecon that I potentially could go to. Um, I don't know. It, it may happen. It may not happen. But I thought it was pretty cool um, that it's actually in an area where I could actually get to. Um, all the other ones have been, you know, way, way inaccessible for me to go because I can't really fly. 
So let me see about getting this pillar. This pillar needs to go all the way up like so. And then these need to be pushed outwards. Just one. Oh my gosh, this is going to look great. Uh, make sure you guys are giving me some feedback here on how we're going along here because I think that looks pretty cool. Now there is a creeper. There is Bob the Creeper building inspector. He's buzzing about around Mumbo's RV. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because I don't want him to go off when I'm next to anyone else's stuff. I would just be so sad if that happened. So I'm being really cautious. All right, so we're gonna put those like that. And I know Rendug just logged off, so there's no one to save us from the night. There's no one to save us from the night. We need a new hero, I guess. There we go. And then I'm gonna replace this one here. And I'm keeping an eye open because I'm very scared. But yeah, like I was saying, um, it could potentially be the first one that I could actually attend. Um, so are any of you guys thinking of attending the Minecon that's in? I believe it's in Anaheim. Um, if you're not familiar with Anaheim, I'll fill you in. Anaheim is where Disneyland is. Disneyland is literally like a 10 to five minute walk from the Anaheim Convention Center. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I love it. It's looking really, really cool. Um, so that's kind of amazing. Uh, and the fact that you could go to Disneyland at the same time, which is like the most amazing thing ever. Minecon and a trip into Disneyland. Oh my, I couldn't think of anything better, really. Couldn't think of anything better. That sounds absolutely amazing. All right, bring those across there like so. Jump on down and put those up here like that. And I am absolutely loving this. So I'm going to do a little bit of oak on this side. There we go. Bring that across there like that. Now, this is looking ever so plain and ever so boring. Um, something needs to go right there. I'll probably do some stone, um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And I'll bring those pieces all around there like that. And what I want to do is add a little bit of detail back here to give it a little more definition and especially a marker the saying which uh, realm you're about to travel to. Are you gonna go between the blue district? Are you gonna go between the green district? Um, depending on uh, the size there. Um, and I think that looks good. I may I may in the, in the future move this up one more block upwards instead of three, move it up to four. Oh gosh, that creeper. You know what he's enjoying? He's enjoying Mumbo's campfire. Oh, you sneaky little Bob. Taking a work break, I see. Taking a little work break. Um, but like I was saying, I keep getting distracted. Um, it may be one that I could go to. And uh, I was hoping that if I did go to it, um, I'd meet some of the super awesome scars there because, well, where else would I want to go? So, uh, yeah, that would be amazing to be able to uh, potentially meet some of your awesome uh, scars. And that would be really, really cool. There we go. Bring that across there like that. Um, let's see. Let's actually. So this is one, two, three. Oh, we just need to go four more. Little scaffolding, there we go, awesome. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what the uh, the future has for me. I never can really plan very easily uh, ahead of time. Things are always changing and and so I can never make promises usually when it comes to this stuff, but um, this may be the one that I'm able to attend um, and that would be really cool. And like I said, Disneyland's across the street, so that's a plus. Um, speaking of Disneyland, are you guys familiar with the fact that they're building a super awesome Star Wars land at Disneyland? Right now at Disneyland, construction is well underway on one of the most extravagant lands they've ever built, and that is Star Wars land. It's being built right behind the uh, frontier land. I mentioned this uh, in a past Hermitcraft episode slightly, uh, but what it is is this gigantic land. And in the land, there's two attractions. There's like a Millennium Falcon ride similar to Star Tours slightly, uh, but it's more of like a modern Star Tours. And uh, so going from that, then there's this ride called the First Order, um, you know, running off the theme of the movies. Um, and it's a whole like kind of chase battle ride where you let's see, what are we doing over here? What's going on over here, my friends? Oh, we just need another pillar going up here. Awesome. I'm just so excited about Star Wars Land and Minecon. I'm just forgetting everything today. Um, so that one's kind of like a trackless ride. So think of a ride system similar to Midway Mania. Um, these are at least just the rumors that I've heard. Who knows if these are actually true, but it's a similar ride vehicle to Midway Mania, but it's trackless and it goes a little quicker in certain areas. And the show building is around the size of Toontown. So an entire it's show building is, is bigger than an entire land at Disneyland, which is so exciting. And the show building is kind of like a soundstage. If you're not familiar, that's where the ride takes place. Um, and then the, the entire land is taking place behind um, Frontierland, and I don't know. I'm just so excited for that because I love Star Wars, I love Disneyland, and you can't go wrong with the both. And there we go, my friends. We are nearly complete with our towers, and I really, really hope this whole design comes together and that all the other hermits like it. But if they don't, we can always take it down and revise it and change it, move it, do whatever we want. 
um but i really really think they hopefully will like it um there we go put those across there like that awesome and then i want to carve out this little section right here there we go looking good and i don't know if we're going to have enough we are going to be too shy but that is definitely fine all right my friends i am going to do a little cleanup phase clean up all the extra little blocks here and there and we'll have a little tour of the finished build all right and welcome back and here is our now completed bridge build as you can see we have the beautiful structure on the bottom here reaching up and holding up the structure in the center we increase the height of that block which i think looks much better and then the two arches on either side now you might notice that there is spruce now in the center and i think that really ties it all together and get another little look here before we head over there um, as you can see we now have three colors built into the platform here and i think that looks much better and the green represents the green district that you are now entering so if you're standing here you're now heading towards the green district which is, I forgot what it is exactly because some farms were built here by mistake. I actually forgot, so let me know in the comments, but I do know blue is my residential district that I live in along with all the other super awesome hermits over here. And then purple is the other district on the other side for residential. I'm trying to get them all. I need, I need like a map. I literally need a map. We had a map. I lost the map. Can't find the map. Need the map again. All right, there we go. So I get these all straight. And I think the spruce looks much better. I think it really gives that extra little bit of contrast that we needed inside there. And there is the tower. Look at that. Look close. Isn't that good? Let me know. Give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. I want to want to hear what you guys think so I can uh, make sure I keep improving and make sure I'm building cool things for you guys. There it is from a distance. Look at it. Kind of a mysterious how it's in the distance. I like it. I think it gives that slight southwestern theme in the center using our design where we skip the block in the center here i think that was a good choice and there we go my friends thank you so much for watching this two-part episode where we built this super awesome arched bridge and until next time this has been good times with scar and we'll see you later oh with a blacksmith now the blacksmith is going to sell all sorts of amazing enchanted tools and i think you guys are going to love the build i have planned